Hello everybody and welcome to another of my videos on Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunters. Uh, today I was hoping to show you guys uh, Lair and Hunt, but it looks like my clan started um, a couple hours early, and so I wasn't able to get in here for uh, the hunt. But I can still show you um, what I know about Lairs. Um, so Lairs is a very advanced feature in this game um it is going to be nearly impossible for any new server to be able to compete in this um all of the old servers uh the clans from the old servers um are taking over the layers for the new servers so uh what i can show you is um let me go back to the beginning. Here we go. Server one. Um, what it looks like. Uh, so there are four different types of layers. Okay. This one is human. Uh, this one is undead. This one is elvish. And each server gets three layers. Okay. Uh, I said there were four. So we're going to have to go to a new server to find the other one. But you're... Um, servers go, I mean, your, your layers start at level one and can go to a maximum of 20. Um, yeah, here we go. And so, uh, in here, it's just like a normal, uh, fight for, um, the kingdom castle, your server castle, only it's, uh, on a much, much grander scale. Um, and so people send all kinds of uh, troops uh, to fight them. And I'll just show you a little bit here about what it kind of looks like. Um, so, I mean, you're going to see all of these $35 for Rubium Star... 200 void heroes um, in all of these fights and then you have of course your your purple voids your green voids that wasn't much of a fight that's not a fight either um here let's try this one All right, so you can see the attacker here is, what was that? Uh, so the, this is the attacker over here on the left. This is the um, controller of the layer. And then there's 25 heroes that they have assigned for defense. There's 404 heroes they have for attack. Um, this is red red is probably the biggest and most fearsome alliance on the game um across multiple servers and that's an elemental or i don't know if it's called an elemental but it's an in-game thing uh i don't even have the craft recipes for this guy and they're not known publicly. Um, Zegan. I'm almost, I'm really close to getting Zegan. Uh, this is Davian. I'm still pretty far away from getting Davian, but he's a layer hero. I'll show you him in a minute. I think this guy's a layer hero too, but I don't know. What is this guy? Uh, Cossus Cataris. I don't know who that guy is. Uh, I'll ask one of my friends. One of my friends has him. And so anyway, the point of this fight is to kill this thing here in the center. It doesn't matter about all of these guys. Um, just like when you have a boss fight. If all of the ads are still there, it doesn't matter. The main point is to kill this thing. And so, 
I've sat here and watched one of these before and just watched the two sides go back and back and back and forth for like 15 minutes and then one of them just manages to accidentally hit this thing and kill it and that's the end of the battle. And so um, these battles take quite a bit of time. I'm not going to sit there and watch it. Um, but you're welcome to go out to the other servers and take a look and watch any of the fights. Uh, but what I'm in here for is the rewards, okay? So, um, if you start with level 1, um, these are the rewards that you get for your level 1 layer. And then they gradually get better um, as you go until you get to you start seeing these these are uh doom seals um those summon some cool bosses that give you 50 million uh points um but as you can see we can we're going to slowly go up and these keys here you get a fixed number for every however many uh lay levels you get to. I don't even know when they start. Okay, so level 4, you don't get any keys until you start level 5, and then you get 5 keys. And then if you go up, you get 10 keys starting at level 10. I'm going to guess 15 at level 15. Nope, 20. Alright, so you get 20 at level 15, uh, and you can see you've already got 10 12, 22, you've got 22 chests, so you're already not getting enough keys to be able to do that, and I'll show you my stash here in a minute. And then so when you get up here, all the way to level 19, you're still only got 20 keys, but you're getting 29 chests, so you'd have to craft 9 of these keys to be able to get all your chests. And then when you get to level 20, then you have 30 keys and 30 chests, okay? And so in these chests, I'm just going to show you the big one here. Well, maybe I'll show you the other ones. This is the elf chest, and um, you get all kinds of different runes in here. Um, add ranger to yourself. Add rogue to yourself. Add elf. Add sage. Um, add, add class to all allies. That's interesting. So if you have elves, you can add the ranger class to all of your allies. Uh, raises the windstone agility of all allies by 15%. Applies only to elf. And then some other ones. That are neat but if you come down here right here so destroys three allies that have the passive ability rage this is a pretty good one for some late game strategies um, this allows you to kill off all of your buffers and then revive them uh, almost every turn so it's kind of nice to have I still haven't figured out how I want to use that um, and I believe it's on entrance or it says opening um so i guess that's opening round um but then you know there's a bunch of other ones and then down here you'll see the different heroes that you can potentially get um this grove keeper guy uh that guy let's see what does the grove keeper do uh, revives and full restores HP to four elven allies. So he's kind of like a uh, a Kulazar, but for specifically for elves. Um, and he's also a sage. Sages have some of the best abilities in the game. Heroes receive 40% bonus to defense against magical attacks, and if you have four of them, um, receive an 80% bonus to defense against magical attacks. It's pretty nice. Um... This guy uh, looks like he has sneak, or he has a 75% chance of sneak, and 
does some damage. Damagey things. Pardon me. Um. 5% dodge. Scouts receive 5% bonus to pure damage. All heroes receive 15% and 10%. So. And then these two. Uh, I think she's a buffer. Summoner's a Briar Witch, but raises attack, wisdom, agility, and defense of three random tree folk allies by 50%. And he raises attack, wisdom, agility of three... No, five. Five random elf allies by 20%. That's an opening. So, uh, they've got some pretty good... Some pretty good... Uh, Abilities there. Uh, I haven't started using any of them yet, but I do have a couple of them. I want to see if there's one on here that adds tree folk. Um, there. Nope, that doesn't add tree folk. Age. Oh. Doesn't look like there is. Um. All right. And so that's what you can get from the elf ones. Um. And then the undead ones. Uh, it's fairly the same. Um with the keys and the different types of rewards. The only thing that's different is the, well, the keys change to your race type, and then the rewards you get are uh, different runes and different heroes. Um, this guy is very, very tough. I see him in a lot of league fights, a lot of, um, I don't really see him in any layer fights, but, uh, he seems pretty good. Let's see, he's got Fortitude, Weakening, Immunity Against Corruption, Immunity Against Decay, and Hatred Against Humans, Goblins, Elves, and Dragons. So that makes him pretty good. Um, and then deals massive attacks to people and silences them. Uh, raises all stats by 10% for Undead. Um, Shadow Knights receive 30% bonus against all damage types. Additionally, Shadow Knights can attack an enemy and corrupt 70% of the HP. Seems pretty good. Um, and then this guy's a super re uh, resurrector. Revives and fully restores HP of all undead, of four undead allies. So it's like Kulazar. Um, but, in addition to that, he decays an enemy, leaving more than 75%. So this would be like Kulazar with a burn rune on him. Increase his own wisdom. Um, and decrease his enemy's attack. So, he is he's super, super good. And, um, increases the magic damage. And these two guys, uh, upon death, 90% respawning, so kind of like in pew, um, corrupts 70% of their HP. And then this guy, 100% uh, chance of uh, on death. When he dies, he increases 65% of uh, five random undead allies. And when he opens, he raises the defense of all allies. And let's see, what do we got up here? Mage. Mechanic. Undead. And wizard. Uh, adds warrior, um, 
Raises wisdom and defense. Raises all stats of all mages by 30%. If the team includes a human. Or the enemy in team includes a human and you have three mages. That's what I just read. Let's see. Raises by 20 25% if you include if your enemy includes human immunity against corruption raises HP um, raises own stats raises stats more stat raising so all of these stats are based off of uh, different races in the enemy. The enemies are on your team. Among allies. Your allies. So that's what you have for the undead. Um, the next one is humans. And in the human box, you have add knight, add thief, add human. And add priest. And then you have monk. And then raising some stats. Um, destroys three allies that have the positive or passive ability of silence. So if you're guys have silence this kills them um, I know people use that but I haven't figured out a strategy for that yet raises wisdom um, enemy includes an undead that's a buff that's a buff that's a buff that's a buff and another buff okay so that's what we have for those three types. And then there is another one here, looks like. Demons. Oh, that's the clan name. Demons of Paradise. They're another tough clan on this game. Um, I believe these are the goblins. Yep. Alright, so at Warrior... Add assassin. Add goblin. Add berserker. Add assassin. A buff. Um, another buff. More buffs. Um, so this one gives you rage, so it's a rage rune, buff, guessing these runes are why nobody really cares about goblins much. And then there are four guys down here. Uh, let's see what we've got. Revives and fully restores HP of four goblins. Um, he's a mage. Mage is another good one. All mages receive 20% bonus and 15% bonus to defense against magical attacks. You have six of them. 50% uh, bonus to additional damage and 40% bonus it's magical attacks so this when you get into the nine that applies only in like dragon draft and um layer fights because maybe castle fights um but this is not going to be helpful in league of course and it's not going to be helpful in siege 80 percent bonus to additional damage and 65 bonus to defense against magical attacks so it is pretty pretty good um, for 
Dragon Draft and um, Layer Fights. Selects three of those, three random enemies, and your goblins die. And then you have Grubbums. Attack base damage enemies with power one to all enemies. So it's kind of like a wisdom, like a, a Dacket, only it's attack based instead of wisdom based. I could see why that would be helpful. And let's see. Devours an enemy, leaving more than 30%. Increases his own attack by factor two. And then this guy is a buffer. So um, that's why I don't really see a whole lot of people going for the goblin ones. I mean, having them would be nice, of course, but it's not something that I see a lot of tactics used with so anyway um you know we, we start here on server one red owns all three of those server two uh the dop clan where'd my mouse go here it is all right um dop owns two this gdi owns one come over to the next one here's red again red uh, from server one owns this but one of their ally clans owns this one and then uh, this RNK has one. Um, barbecue. And then another one there. This is where my first one is. Uh, I'm currently in this clan here, Matt. So we own two. We own humans and elves at level 20. Rome is another huge, huge um, one on my clan. And they're starting to expand into others. They used to be like the top clan, but now they're not nearly as much um they also cost a lot more their rome charges 17 voids per week to be in their clan matt's charging seven so there is a huge difference um here's dnp owns these um some smaller ones that i've never heard of some more smaller ones there's another dnp or dop so here's Rome. That's Rome's second one. They own goblins, I guess. So they have um, goblins and undead. Here's another DOP. So that's like their fourth one. Barbecue, that's their second one. All right, so you can see that a lot of these servers um, have multiple ones on everybody else's. I don't see why Rome is charging 20 or 17. That just seems crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, that's what it's all about. And so then, at, as soon as reset is over, uh, I don't see if anybody said anything. I don't see any dinos coming. I'll try to make a hunt video next time. next Monday if I can uh, the only ones I can kill right now are dinos uh, I don't have any fortitude um, I don't have any fortitude runes yet so uh, I, it's harder for me to kill these bosses once I get some fortitude runes uh, it'll be much better or if I get my fortitude guy which I'm gonna check here I'm gonna show you guys opening my boxes but here are the rewards that you get from different levels of hunt um, so you get Rubium, you get Star Elixirs, Doom Seals, and then these other ones. Uh, these are mythical chests. Uh, I do not open them. I think I'm going to try to sell them. Um, and then you have you know, holograms and hyperspheres and emeralds. So those are very, very helpful. 
uh, I get a lot of emeralds, um, which is very, very beneficial for getting your other heroes like um, your Sons of Yagdil and your Voids. Uh, right now, those are the only four I'm missing is two Sons of Yagdil and two Voids um, to have everything you can get out of emeralds. After that, I don't even know what you would do with emeralds. Um, but, I mean, I guess I'll ask somebody. Um, but if we go to loot, uh, just a moment, I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right, so now I'm in my items. Let's take a look down here. Um, to my chests. Uh, here we go. All right. So I got my weekly chests, and we actually just got to level 20 on the one, so I will have gotten keys, uh, 30 keys, plenty of keys to open. Uh, but as you can see, I had been stockpiling uh, 16 of these for a while um, because I didn't want to craft any keys to get them. Because in here, um, you do get a shot at these runes. Uh, but I have plenty of those runes, and I already have these two guys activated. Uh, so I don't need to open any of these. The only thing I would potentially need is these. Uh, but I already have like nine of these, so I don't need those either. Um, and I'm sure I have plenty of these other ones too. Uh, these would be what I would need to open in those chests. Um, but I probably have a bunch of those too. Let's see. I haven't even looked. I, I really need to start assigning them. Okay, so I have six of the elf ones, three rogues, and a ranger. So I don't have any of the sages, but I have eight of those. And 10 of the Destroy Rages. So. I got a lot of these human ones too. Uh, anyway, let's open our chests. So I can show you what I have. See, I've got 61 of these Demon Seals. Or Doom Seals. Uh, so that's really helpful in getting your uh, top bosses. At, or with your... Uh, rune week, and we just had rune week um, last week, week before, week, week before last. Um, so, you know, I'm going to try to save these because um, in April uh, comes one of the uh, the other videos I need to redo, which is the space and star events. And uh, there's a 55 billion point boss you can get, so I really need to save up 55 billion points. Let me do some math real quick. So, 55, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Oh, quick math. Uh, I could have done that in quick math. Divide by 50. So, I need 1,100 of these <laughs> to get to uh, 55 billion points. So I'm not going to make that. Um, I know maps, 300 maps will get you there as well or 2500 uh demon horns so um that's a lot uh all right so let's start by opening these these are my human ones let's go ahead and open all 10. oh uh, nuts okay so i got 202 here and 208 here that's really good um, but I was really hoping for more. And I don't really need to open those either because I have all of that stuff. See, I was, I guess I'll get them next week if I'm, if I don't have a horrible week like last week. Um, where's he? Oh, there he is. 
right here. See, I was off by 94 on getting this guy, Averett. And Averett's the one that I really need to get because Averett has fortitude. And once I have him with his fortitude, then I can use him in the hunt fights and be able to get, um, be able to kill better. Off by 94. That makes me a sad panda. Okay. Uh, and then Davion, I'm still way, way far from him. Or, or Tavian, not Davion. Tavion, blue. Still pretty far from that guy. Uh, Alright, back to my items. Uh, let's open up these elf ones. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I didn't see what... I didn't see what rooms they gave me. And then I'll put ten of these. Okay. So as you can see, I still have 16 of these. Don't really care. Um, but that's what you get in a nutshell from the layer. And um, these come from your hunt battles. Um, basically, it's a summons, and it's worth a 2 billion boss, normal 2 billion boss. Uh, so it's just under 5 million points. Um, so I guess I have 500 million points right here. Um, I think that's really all there is for the layer fights. Uh, but again, like I was stating, um, so the bigger clans on the first servers, uh, since they can attack, uh, layers from other servers, um, they're just going to take them over and that's the end of it. Um, so the newer servers won't really have a chance at getting, uh, a layer for probably ever. Um, but from what I understand, red charges a protector's fee, kind of like the Mafia does, uh, or you know, crime syndicates, that if you don't want them to attack you, then you have to pay them. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a corrupt system, but, you know, whatever somebody's willing to pay to get there, that's what it is. All right, well, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Uh, other than that, um, you know, you guys are always welcome to donate things to me. Uh, I'll take all your maps, uh, you know, anything else that'll help me get to my 55 billion thing in April. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, it would be cool, but I don't want you guys to send it to me. Keep it for yourself. Uh, I will grind it out either this year or next year. And um, God bless you and have a good day. Thanks for watching.